we are making a delicious pasta dish that is coated in the most delicious lemony brown butter sauce that you are going to love. I really have no idea the title of this pasta because it's giving Primavera vibes, it's giving piccata vibes, it's giving brown butter and cheese vibes, and we're all kind of pulling it putting it all together, and it is magical. The list of ingredients you need is very short and sweet. I'm gonna walk you through it all. What I've got here, these are called malfade. I really love the shape of pasta for this, but any long pasta like linguine, spaghetti, fettuccine would work. Um, oftentimes you'll find these that are actually thinner, same shape, but thinner. Those are called malfadine, which would be a smaller version of malfade. Usually malfade come like this. You see, it's like a really long, Picture a super long noodle and while it's still in its pliable stage, it's folded in half and it's hung like this. And when it boils, this whole thing gets really, really long, which I think is quite difficult to cook and eat properly. So what I do is when they come like this, I just snap them in half, just like that. Um, and I just find that they cook easier, they twirl better in my pan. Um, but you know, I'll leave that up to you. I'm using artichokes for this recipe. I think it gives you such a nice earthy freshness to the dish. However, in a, in a beautiful world, in a perfect world, I would have an amazing farmer's market around the corner that has every kind of artichoke I could possibly ever want. And I would get just the perfect small, just in season artichokes that I would trim and cut thinly and use in this recipe because I don't like big artichokes for this. However, this is not a perfect world. This is a world where I live in the middle of nowhere and my local grocery store at best will have frozen or canned artichokes. Um, I'm using canned, just make sure it's the artichoke heart, not in a marinade. This is just in water and this is what you're looking for. You're gonna need, what well, I'm gonna need, some asparagus. I'm using some capers. Lemon, you'll use the whole lemon, so make sure it's a nice organic lemon. You'll need some garlic, lots of parm, butter, salt, pepper, olive oil, and if you want, some parsley, if you want. The recipe is, in fact, really easy, but it is really delicious, and like I said, it kind of combines a lot of different things, and it's really versatile. You don't have asparagus, use zucchini. You don't have zucchini, use frozen peas. You don't want to use any green, don't use any green at all. I'm leaving that totally up to you. So. In my skillet, which I want a nice high sided skillet because I'm going to finish cooking the pasta in here for at least three to four minutes. I'm gonna do about, let's say three-ish tablespoons of butter. To that butter, I'm gonna add a good drizzle of olive oil. And the olive oil just keeps the butter from burning and I also really like the combination of flavors between the two. I've got a pot of water just simmering, ready to come to a boil. I've got my artichoke hearts, I'm gonna just cut them in half like so. And I'm just gonna wait for that butter to kind of bubble up and melt and do all kinds of wonderful things. Butter and olive oil is melted. You can see it's starting to turn a lovely light golden. I'm taking my artichokes that I cut in half and I make sure to put them on some paper towels to absorb any excess water. I'm going to Cook them just on the cut side, and artichokes are already cooked. So it, you may think it's counterintuitive to do them twice because we're gonna put them back in at the end. But this just kind of like, basically, it allows their flavors to really bloom. And when they meet that brown, butter, fatty goodness, it's just to die. So you can see it's already happening. Look at that butter, it's turning that beautiful golden brown color. You, want to, you don't want to burn it, so don't have your heat on too high of a temperature. But let's check, because these have these sort of tend to turn really quickly. Oh, you see that? That's what you're looking for. So let those go. They'll take a couple of minutes at most, and then you're going to take them out. Artichokes out. I'm just adding in some garlic. I turned the heat down, but it's going to start sizzling up again in just a second. I'm going to add a little bit more butter and a little bit more oil because remember, this is your sauce, right? So you want to make sure it's got a nice amount of fatty goodness because when that marries with the starchy cooking water, it kind of becomes like this emulsified gorgeousness that's going to coat your pasta so well. It's making my mouth water. 
Oh yeah, that smells wonderful. And at this point, I'm not really gonna do a whole lot. I am just going to, you can see it's got that light brown color. It smells really nutty and delicious. At this point, I'm just gonna add my capers. I'm gonna add the zest of about a half of a lemon. And I'm gonna let this just go on as low as it goes until my pasta water comes to a boil and I drop my pasta in. And in the meantime, let me show you how I'm going to prep that asparagus. I also want a few grindings of black pepper in here. That's nice. The capers, the lemon, the garlic, you'll get the piccata vibe that I'm talking about. It is just sublime. So again, on as low as it goes, is what you want. My asparagus, I like to do same weight to the pasta. So half pound pasta, half pound of asparagus, which is usually about a half a bunch. I'm gonna take the tips, the very like, I'd say top inch, and I'm just gonna do that. Leave those alone. And then the rest, what I really like to do, I don't want anything too small. And this is also gonna only cook for like a minute. I've already trimmed the ends. I kinda do sort of a bias to that's similar to the size of the tip, like that. And that's it, I'm just gonna continue to do that, set them aside, and when I'm ready for them, I'll show you the next step. Pasta in. Make sure you take the time to really work that pasta in that water. Now this is a bit of like a fancier brand, so it takes a little longer to cook. Usually pasta for it to be al dente will take about eight minutes. This is gonna take about closer to maybe 12, but of course, just check the packaging on your pasta and I'm gonna pull it off. If the package says al dente in eight minutes or cook for 10 minutes, I'm gonna pull this out at around the seven, six or seven minute mark, right? Because I want it to be quite underdone so that it can cook in the sauce with that starchy water for a few minutes to really absorb all of those really wonderful flavors. So just keep an eye on it, make sure it's well salted so that the pasta has a really good chance of getting seasoned from the very beginning all the way through. Um, and that's pretty much it. I've grated lots of parm because it was gonna take me forever to do it on camera. So I got that done and out of the way and I'm just gonna wait for that to uh, do its thing. And at the last, which I'll show you, because literally at the very last, I would say 30 seconds. I'm gonna add my asparagus to that, and then everything goes back in the scale of here to all cook together. I'm pulling the pasta out in about 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna add my asparagus, and I'm only gonna add them in there so that they can start sort of softening up a bit from the very beginning, but it's only gonna take literally 30 seconds. I've got my my watch, that's gonna give me the time. My pasta is still very al dente, but remember, I, that's what I want. While that's in there for just a few, that 30 seconds, I'm gonna just start taking the starchy water. Try not to take any asparagus with me. You're gonna need, keep it handy, but you're probably gonna need about a, a cup and a half, which sounds like a lot, but you see how it's, look at the color, right? It's lifting all those beautiful, flavors from the very bottom. I'm gonna bring this closer to it. Right, the pasta's gonna go right in there. It looks loose at first, so you're gonna have to just trust the process. Also haven't added, as you can tell, I haven't added any salt to the sauce because the sauce is gonna be mostly compiled of the starchy water that is very, very well seasoned. So I don't need to add anything else to it. Oh, there's a strain of pasta. I don't need to add any more salt to it. We have the capers that are quite salty. I'm keeping the sauce, the, the water, the sauce, the water nearby because I may need more of it. And that's already looking beautiful. I'm going to add my lemon juice. I can just tell this needs more water and that will get absorbed and turn into the most luscious deliciousness. I'm gonna add 
your artichokes, and now you're gonna add that cheese. And you'll likely add more cheese later anyway. And I want more black pepper. I've also switched to my silicone tongs because I don't wanna scrape my nonstick surface. Oh yeah. Just let that go. That's gonna take a, not another, maybe two, two to three minutes, possibly four. That's gonna turn from a liquidy broth to a really thick and gorgeous sauce that really adheres beautifully to the pasta. And then the pasta will cook fully. All right, it's been about three minutes and I want you to see what that brothy water looks like now, right? It's just, now it's a glorious sauce. It's so well seasoned. I think you have that mix between, I do wanna add some parsley. You have that wonderful mix of salty capers. Your salt, your water was really well seasoned. So really you don't need much from now. And look at that. See, that's what you want. Just gonna turn this off. That is beautiful. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous and beautiful, babes. You've got every single thing, the capers, the asparagus. You have the artichokes. You do one more little drizzle of strong extra virgin olive oil another grating of cheese, and it is so sublime, really. Sublime. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell like a mix of, it smells like a mix of piccata and almost like a cachoe pepe, because I can really smell the cheese and I can really smell the pepper. This pasta is hard to twirl. And that's driving me crazy. Let me cut that in half, hold on because I'm gonna get a one bite with everything in it. Pasta, the artichokes. I'm really losing it here. Oh, oh my gosh. It is sensational. The artichoke is such a good player here. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Feels so creamy, so luxe. It is like perfectly lemony. It's not too strong, but mm, it's providing good acidity, but that lemon zest is playing really, really well with the capers, with the asparagus. It's, it's an overall such a winner. You will love it. It feels really creamy, it has no cream, but it feels really creamy and luxe and just rich and delicious and you are gonna just love it. Go to lauraintheKitchen.com. I kid you not, can you get on the fork? my mind here. Hope you enjoyed spending time with me. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm.